Hello everyone, I am Dr. Sukriti Sharma. I am a dermatologist and founder of Kyodam Skin Clinic, also practicing in Max Hospital, Noida. On this World Vitiligo Day, I would like to explain you the role of diet and treatments offered in vitiligo in the current practice. So, vitiligo affects almost 3 to 4 percent of Indian population, whereas the percentage in world is 1 percent. So, Indians are more affected than vitiligo when you compare it to the world population. As far as the diet is concerned, there is no particular direct correlation of certain diets increasing vitiligo, but now the recent studies are proving that in few cases, few diets can have a preventive role, whereas few diets can increase. So having a good BMI and maintaining your health is definitely important to avoid progression of the cases of vitiligo. Along with it, there are studies which prove that the oxidative stress in your body when it is increased which can happen due to diets like vegetable oils, uh, increase intake of preservative rich diet, additives rich diet and certain diets which contain more of natural phenol which can be seen in uh, foods like cashews, berries, cherries etc can have a detrimental impact on vitiligo because they are increasing the oxidative stress in your body. Similarly, foods which decrease oxidative stress in your body, hence improving the spread of vitiligo, includes diets like apple, onion, uh, they are naturally have anti-inflammatory components or anti-immunity components in it. Along with it, omega-3 fatty acid rich foods or supplements are also given. So, it is still under studies, we have to conclude further to have a direct correlation but you can start with these small changes. As far as the treatment is concerned, we divide treatment according to if your case is progressing, you are developing new and new more patches, then we have to give you oral medicines like corticosteroids to cut down your autoimmunity. Whereas if you have stable vitiligo, the patch is there for a longer time, there is just one or two patch, then we can directly start with topical creams and ointments and phototherapy and now in some cases you can go for surgical removal or grafting to have repigmentation over it.